Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make one of those cool iPod pictures. Where the people are all black. So we're going to open up what we want. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Sonic. Everybody loves Sonic. And we need to have a new layer open. A new file, that is. Let's just go ahead and make this 600 by 800. Just give us a size. No, I don't like that. Let's do 900 by 600. I'm using pixels. Make it a little wider. I don't want it too big. Alright, and first we're going to have to extract the image that we want. So I'm going to use a quick, quick selection. Just because it's all bold colors and I don't really need to have any fine detail selecting. This will do just fine. And go through and uh, select them all. This is probably one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. Just because it's quick, it's easy, but you can only use it for certain things because a lot of uh, other details you won't be able to get with this tool. And we're going to just drag this into, you see how it left a little bit of that behind? That's okay. That's okay for now. Most of our picture is there though what we're gonna do is uh, whatever color you want the background go ahead and uh, change that color this is my first time using a screen recorder so let's go ahead and use like a pink background that's what they usually use in those iPod things make sure we have the background selected and we're just gonna drop that color in there then we can go ahead and Go back to our layer we want, position them wherever you want, and go up to image, adjustments, levels, and we're just going to make them completely black. Just completely black. There's other methods of doing this. I'm not going to do it. Looks like we missed a little bit when we extracted them. Oh no doesn't look like that. Yeah. It looks like we missed a thumb. So let's just go ahead and delete that. We'll go ahead and get that thumb in there. And that, that little bit that we missed last time. Might as well. We're here. Let's do it. Go ahead and drag him back in there. And do the same thing. Okay, now you already got that that look, the iPod look, the black on the colored background. We're just going to add a text, and most of them have that white text. You can go black if you want. I'm going to go black, and we're going to name it what? Say, hmm, let's say I Sonic or something. Hmm? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and change the text. You can change your text to whatever looks right for you. I just want a bolded text. And that one looks good. Not exactly the iPod look, but you get the point. And then you have a little iPod looking thing. All we have to do now we can use our brush tool or 
on white. <clears throat> Go back to your layer. <clears throat> and you want to have the right size brush. This looks like... This will do. We'll just <clears throat> give them those headphone looks. You can draw a little iPod in his pocket. And there you go. iSonic. Last thing you want to do is you want to put photoshops.com on your work because uh, it's the only place to be photoshops.com get way more tutorials like this at photoshops.com